The use of cannabis as a medication to help relieve pain has been quite a controversial discussion among both the medical world and governmental world. Although cannabis can be used inappropriately if it is used correctly, prescribed by a doctor, and distributed safely, it can be quite helpful to relieve pain, shown in many studies comparing cannabis to other OTC drugs. To begin with, both both cannabis and other OTC drugs are used to relieve pain. Before cannabis was prohibited, many pharmacists issued it as the primary medication for over 100 diseases. Aspirin had a warning label for five years. During this period of time, 300 children died because of it. The American Medical Association, AMA, argued against the prohibition of cannabis. Cannabis has been around for over 5,000 years, while aspirin has only been around for 108 years. While using cannabis, nobody has ever overdosed using it. Aspirin, on the other hand, kills about 500 people each year. The side effects of cannabis do not last after the herb has worn off. These side effects include hunger, depression, laughter, creative impulsive, tiredness, and forgetfulness. The side effects and dangers of aspirin include bleeding in the stomach and other stomach problems, dizziness, heavy sweating, irreversible liver damage, inflammation and destruction of the liver, nausea, lethargy, hypothermia, abnormally fast breathing, edema, hallucinations, seizures, harmful interactions with other drugs, and prolonged bleeding after operations. This side effect in particular can last up to 10 days after the last aspirin was taken. Meaningful pain relief from cannabis usually occurs within 10 minutes. The meaningful pain relief from aspirin usually occurs after 49 minutes. The proper dosage of cannabis is between 2.5 and 10 milligrams, while the proper dosage for aspirin is about 500 milligrams. Even though cannabis can be used recreationally and inappropriately, when it is used to treat pain and used properly, it can be much more effective and even safer than some similar OTC drugs and prescription drugs like aspirin. Both serve the same pers- purpose, so why is one being questioned while the other is not? 